Over 50 years ago, Dr. Bob Dayton was called to Nicaragua to reach the lost Nicaraguan people. He felt a burden to start churches and to reach all the communities in Nicaragua. Through the course of time, he started a Bible Institute, which trains pastors and leaders to work in the churches and to go out and start uh, works in different areas and different towns throughout Nicaragua. In January 2011, Dr. Dayton and I, along with other pastors, were coming up with a plan on how to continue the work in Nicaragua and to grow it into the next generation and beyond. It was decided at that time to start a group of pastors and godly men who could carry on the work to provide oversight at the Institute, but more importantly, to continue planting churches throughout Nicaragua and beyond. That organization was Nicaragua Baptist Missions. Nicaragua Baptist Mission aids in supporting students to help complete their studies. Our prayer is that churches will come alongside of us to help us continue teaching and training students so that they can be pastors and leaders in the communities in which they live. Obviously, with over 200 churches started, another component of the ministry is to provide constant encouragement and strengthening to the churches that are already in existence. We accomplish this mainly by visiting each church individually, spending time with the pastor, spending time at the church, getting to know their ministry and trying to find ways to enhance that ministry and to help them accomplish what God wants. One of the ways we strengthen the churches in Nicaragua is through our conference ministry. We were amazed how effective these conferences are in reaching the pastors, giving them new resources, giving them new training, and it's building them up to serve the Lord. One of the conferences we recently did was the life of the pastor based on the book of Titus. We had over 80 pastors attend in the three days that we offered the conference. And more importantly, we were able to distribute 10,000 gospel tracts in the hands of these church leaders. We know that within a month, it would have been the hands of unsafe people throughout Nicaragua and throughout the communities that they were reaching. One of the areas of new outreach in the past three years has been with the Mosquito people. The Mosquito people have a very rich and troubled history. The government desires to maintain the Mesquite culture, to maintain their language, and is spending time and energy to educate the Mesquite people in their own language and to enter into each village. Along with that, it opened up avenues for us as missionaries to go into those villages, to preach the gospel, to provide Bibles and literature in their own language, and we found the people to be extremely receptive to the gospel. One way we've been able to reach the Miski people is going along the Rio Coca River out of Waspam. We were able to take a medical team and go into some of the villages. Now the main purpose of the medical team was obviously to, to provide help or medical assistance, but more importantly, it was to get an audience for the gospel. <laughs> At this point, 560 people in three days. In the process of three days, we were able to treat 600 people, but 600 people heard the gospel. What was amazing was graduates from the Institute in Puerto Cabezas, our second location, and they were able to preach to each individual person. One person in particular, Sonia, is a 15-year-old in the town of Utamata. She was there and and at the end of receiving medical treatment, at the end of hearing the gospel message, she stuck around because she spoke Spanish and Mesquite. It was after that time when we were ready to leave and head back to Waspam that she sat down with one of our pastor's wives and spent another half hour talking about what she heard. It was during that time that the Lord used that for her to accept Christ into her heart as her personal Savior. The main objective of Nicaragua Baptist Mission is to train pastors and to start churches. We accomplish that by encouraging our students to finish their three years of studies and then from there helping them find the area God has called them to plant a church and then reach that community for Christ. For those churches that are able, we would greatly appreciate any monthly help that could come in. This monthly help goes to maintain the institute as it costs a hundred dollars per month per student to keep the institute running and we also 
would appreciate funds for pastors that are going out and starting a church where we help assist this pastor in getting established in a community for about two to three years. Our prayer is that churches will feel the call of the Lord to support us on a monthly basis and we can then use that to support students to finish their studies and to help pastors plant churches throughout Nicaragua.